This illustration deals with outside lighting loads. In accordance with NEC 220.14F, NEC 230.42A1 and A2 is applicable. Now, notice that uh, 220.14F for the sign load in the illustration refers you over to 600.5A. And then we would apply 230.42A1 because this deals with the uh, total VA uh, for the service. Now, notice that uh, basically 600.5 uh, along with 220.14F working together would require a 20 amp circuit brought to the front of a facility where you had uh, direct uh, access by a pedestrian. We would have to uh, bring that to the front, uh, that circuit, and label it so that a sign person would know that they would have at least a 20 amp circuit for the sign. Now again, this sign is a continuous operated sign in accordance with Article 100. So in the boxed in information, we're calculating the sign load. So 220.14F, 600.5A, and 230.42A1 is the sections that would be applied here. We would take the 1200 VA, which is listed, and take 125% equaling, which would equal 1500 VA. Now notice the 1200 VA is the minimum that we would uh, uh, prepare for a sign. If we know exactly what the signs uh, would pull uh, VA wise, then we would go ahead naturally and figure that in. So this figure 2-8 strictly deals with the outside sign lighting load and the requirements to provide such a VA rating along with a 20 amp circuit brought to the front of the store building where the access of a pedestrian would have to enter into a store and so forth.